All right, what's up, guys? The next 30 minutes missions kit that we're going to be taking a look at here today is the Portanova Space Type Gray. This one, again, looks so super cool. I really like the design for this. Uh, just with it being a space type and it being all in gray like this, it just has a really cool look to it. I definitely like this a lot better than the original Portanova. It just it looks so much more interesting. I think the original Portanova, I just wasn't really into the knockoff Zaku kind of style that it was having there. And so this one is really cool. It has these really interesting leg bits down there. It has the claw arm, which is available as a separate weapon set, and just a little bit different style there to the head, almost sort of like a skull look to it with the little vents there at the bottom, looking kind of like, like the bottom of a skull, sort of. So, very cool look for this one. Again, as always, guys, if you want to check out all the different 30 minutes mission stuff we have there at USA Gundam Store, the link is down below, and so use my coupon code there, ZakuRelease10, to save 10% off everything there as well. So, here on the side of the box, this is number 18 in the line. Going down here onto the bottom, we got the standard no glue required and you can only use uh, nippers to build this if you want. Here's how it's going to look just straight out of the box without being painted. Here's how it's going to look with paint. So as you can see, not really a huge difference there. I mean, it's just gray and gray and dark gray and light gray and that's pretty much it for the colors for this. But it's going to have some nice articulation there, of course. It looks really cool, just posed up. And I love this kind of like backpack part that it's got there for it as well. Very interesting design, this really long gun that it's got as well as the claw, all very cool. And of course, if you buy multiples of the kit, you can make a four-legged version as well, so that's pretty awesome. You can make just the regular Portanova with this kit as well, so like with the Alto Fly type, you can make just the regular Alto with this and you can just make the regular Portanova in gray if you want, but uh, like I said, I'm not really too interested in that one personally, but you can do it if you wanted to. Around here on the other side, once again, just showing that custom build with the four legs, so it's making uh, two of this kit and then using some other different option parts to create this cool kit bash there that you can do with these kits so famously. Let's get right into it, shall we? So we got some white and some black and some kind of very dark navy, it looks like. Some more white and some light gray and our manual here. So let's take a look at this. Once again, at the top of the manual, it's just the same image from the front of the box, but now you can see it a little bit better, a little bit more clearly. It looks very cool, this space scene there. We got the text over here on the side in very fine print, but that's there in Japanese and in English. If you want to check that out about the story, about the Portanova, and about the Roy Roy. Then down here, an explanation of their custom build, so that it's a combination of the this kit, and then also the Portanova Dark Gray that they're using for that, just to basically give it some different colors, I think. And then uh, the option weapon one for Portanova and the option armor for commander Portanova use. So that's what they're using there for making this special custom. Going on to the back once again is the shared joint structure. So pointing out the areas where you can easily mix and match the parts of this kit by just being a universal type construction. Customizing that with the different hard points in there, adding more armor, weapons, whatever you want to do with that, and then how you can mix and match for making at least just different colors. Even if you don't want to like use different option parts, you can at least just change up the colors, give it a custom color scheme without even having to paint anything. You have to just buy different colored versions of this kit. Uh, as usual, once again, our color scheme or our parts list is also in full color here. And it looks like we've got all the construction of this laid out pretty normally. You build all the different parts and put that together. It even includes the instructions here how to make the quadruped type of that, so that's pretty nice. And then we have a couple of colored construction pages here showing how to build the space backpack and then the uh, arm unit rifle and large claw bits there, how to build those, the space legs and option parts and all that. So. Once again, a lot of stuff to get through with these kits, a lot of stuff that you can do. Even with just this one kit, and what you get in the box here, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. So let's check out the runners first. Like with the Alto, it looks like we do get a set of sticker decals, but it's just numbers here in a different font though from the Alto. These are also, once again, in black and in white and in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And also the PC7 polycap ball joints here in gray. And again, like with the Alto, runners A and B are just going to give you the parts to make just the original Portanova all in gray here. And then the later runners are going to be the parts that we need to make it into the space type here. So runner A, we've got the one clear part over here on the side. It's in kind of like smoky clear for the face, for the head. And then some white across the top and bottom and some kind of medium, kind of warmish tan kind of gray color there throughout the center. And then runner B here is in a really dark navy color for the parts for the hands and all the joints and everything. 
And then we're in our UTB1 here is in black and it's marked for the 30 minutes missions arm unit. Then we do also have a UTB2, which is a copy of this little corner of the runner up there. And then UTE1 is in white and it's marked for the 30 minutes missions space unit. And we do also have a UT. E2 for a copy of this half of the runner over here for our space type parts. All right, so yeah, it looks pretty awesome. I want to get this built up. And uh, unfortunately, I'm just now remembering that uh, building white kits, all the detail on white kits is kind of hard to show you guys on camera because without doing any pen aligning on it, it's kind of hard to show details on white without it being blown out or too dark here on camera. But I'll do my best to show that to you guys. Anyway, I'll get it built up first and then we'll take a look at the kit. All right, so here it is all built up. Very cool. Love all that the legs and the styling of it, all the extra parts. Actually though, there's maybe a couple of parts on there that I would maybe not work with. I would maybe just stick with the original parts or just not have some of the extra parts attached onto there, but we'll go over that more in a moment. Just also want to remind you guys that this is my first time building the Portanova. I didn't build the original, just regular Portanova kit, where with the Alto, I built the regular and then built the flight type. With this one, I haven't built just the regular Portanova, I guess, sort of, but with this kit, you do build the regular Portanova, you can build the full Portanova with this, and so I guess in that sense I did, but anyway, the point that I want to make to you guys is that uh, if you haven't already built one or the other, all the joint parts and everything, basically the B-runner that's included with these kits is exactly the same. So all the joints and the construction is very much, pretty much the same between the two of them. So if you built one, you can build the other one very easily. There's not really that much difference except for just the exterior detail of them. But of course the style is really cool with this kit and it does come with some really cool optional parts included with the box. And so once again with this kit, we're going to focus on just what is included with the box here, not uh, talking about any other external other option sets or weapon sets or anything like that. Just what you get if you want to pick up this kit on its own. So just real quick, we'll take a look at those accessories and everything. Here is the Roy Roy, a different design from what's included with the Alto, of course. It's a very cool design, a little bit more sort of rounded design here, like with the uh, robot itself and so it's pretty cool. This one also can be used as a head You can just pull off the legs there and just stick this on the head This one I think also looks pretty cool interesting as a head also just because it has like the little three little eyes on the front of there And it can be pretty interesting But of course you got hard points here here and the legs and as well too So you can I mean you could use this aside from just its own little thing you could use this in a lot of different ways for different parts on the actual robot design there. And then from the original kit, which you could use if you wanted to, you've got the regular side skirt armor for that, as well as the original knee armor here. The original feet, which are pretty short and stumpy, really not a big fan of the regular Portanova feet in my opinion. And the original face mask. Now one interesting thing I will point out about the face mask is with the original face mask, the clear part goes behind that. With this new face mask, the clear part goes on top of this new mask, so just a small little difference with that, though it's still really cool design for the new space type mask, I gotta say. Then of course here, all in black, we've got the large claw. Now I don't really particularly like the fact that this and also the rifle, which we'll see in a minute, are all in black, because when you got the rest of the suit, just kind of in this white and gray. This very stark difference is a little bit too much contrast, I think. But anyway, these all the claws will just move and extend out like that. And so they're pretty cool in their extension. So you can move those and have this be like an actual like physical weapon, like a claw sort of weapon. Or I could imagine this being some sort of like beam emitter thing as well. Some sort of like beam scatter gun or something like that. I don't know. We could get, get creative with it of course there's no like I don't know I guess there is sort of a cannon but also kind of not really I think it's pretty wide open but anyway you can plug this in in place of the hand here on the arm if you can get the arm to stay in place there and so this can be used for that which is a pretty cool and I think it does with this particular version of the Portanova I think it almost sort of looks less like a machine of war but almost sort of like a kind of space exploratory kind of thing where you could imagine this going out just for like science expedition sort of thing and you can imagine this claw being useful as for like picking up different things samples and things like that of course so it's a pretty cool design and then we've got the arm unit rifle now it doesn't really kind of make sense why it's called the arm unit rifle until you realize that it's meant to be attached on as the arm which you can do you don't necessarily have to do though you can also use this included attachment piece here to plug this onto the backpack it says to plug it on here to the center of the backpack so I guess that's kind of like for storage and then you can also have it go up a little bit and it can't move all the way to the front but it can move up to there to some sort of like a firing position like that. But yeah, without that little white connector piece, we'll go here onto the arm 
and we'll first remove this big part on the back of the arm, which I don't really particularly care for. It's a cool design part, but I don't think it looks really necessarily very good on the back of the arm in my opinion. And to get, just to get this off a little easier, I'll take that off because this part's actually kind of tricky to get off of there. You need to pull this off the front of the elbow like that before you disattach this. So then we can plug that instead onto here. We'll put this cover back up, which is again like sort of the front of the elbow. Plug this back onto the arm and you can see now the arm is going to be a massive giant gun arm and it's basically made up of three sections here. You have the front kind of barrel section, the middle section which kind of has this like little leg on it, and also this handle which can move side to side like that for a secondary handle which is pretty cool. And then the back second section which is the part that actually plugs onto the arm or to wherever you're going to plug this onto. And of course you could move this in different ways. You could switch that upside down or turn this the other way around like that. But I find with these sections the connection between them is a little Little bit weak they tend to like come apart kind of easily there but anyway back on the portent over there it does look pretty cool so some pretty cool interesting weapons for this that again you could mix and match different things you didn't want that to be quite so long you could just remove this middle section like that and it's the and it's just a shorter albeit still kind of long rifle there not quite as tremendously long and just to go over some of the articulation of this as for like the general articulation of the main body again is sharing all the same joints as the alto kit so that's all going to be generally the same just want to talk about some of the parts that are specific to this kit so here for the legs it has the same knee joint up there but we do also have a second joint down here uh, in the leg which is pretty cool so that will allow you to make it stand up very tall or just kind of down in the standard pose as for the ankle it's also the same although it's a new piece it works exactly the same as the regular ankle you have a sw uh, swing side to side there and then it's just on a ball joint there for the foot and so you have a little hard point there even on the bottom of the foot which is pretty cool as well for the backpack these parts are the original lower legs of the Porta Nova so they go from this lower leg section down here up to make up this part of the backpack now you have this little bit at the end course in place of the foot so that'll spin around on there that can also move side to side on there this part can move up and down like that but otherwise that is pretty much it for the backpack as you can see this kit just has tons of hard points here here on the back skirts on the side skirts it's pretty much just made to hold other parts onto there not really too big of a fan of these I think they do look pretty cool if you are planning on plugging them onto something or plugging something onto there but anyway they're still interesting I suppose but the original side skirts do make for just like really good just like regular detail parts that you could just maybe like add to the side of something like that or something and even the Roy Roy had to think could make for like a interesting interesting sort of like disc radome looking sort of thing on the top of there something like that some sort of radar radar unit for that something anyway you can get very creative with the options which we'll try out some different posing options here in a moment but yeah very cool but overall guys just once again i feel like this kit is just another example of how weird and wild these things can be and how they can get when you start mixing and matching parts now again i'm only going to be using parts here just to show you some different poses you of using the parts included with this set that's not even including mixing and matching parts from other sets so there's just a lot of possibilities and that's going to be definitely the theme of these kits of course is the possibility for customizing them now even if you did want to get just this kit on its own i think it's a really cool kit just on its own even without anything else the parts that are included with it you know it doesn't have a ton of optional like weapons or anything like that just the claw and the rifle but even with those limited accessories there's some really cool stuff that you can do now also with this kit in particular as I mentioned before I think it's also very just the look the styling of it is a lot more wide open as for whether you want to interpret this as some sort of like actual weapon of war or otherwise just some other sort of just robot for whatever purposes you might want to envision for it and so I think it's a really cool design in that sense. So once again, this is going to be another one that I think is going to be really fun to work on later on when it comes to, uh, you know, how I want to end up ultimately outfitting it myself and how I want to envision it sort of in the real world in which way I go. I'm not really too sure actually, but we'll see. If you guys have any other further questions or comments about this kit, of course, feel free to let me know down in there in the comment section below. Do you have it? What did you do with yours? Did you go with yours in some weird way, making it into like some sort of just like walker robot or something? I don't know. I'm just curious what you guys envision for the kit. But you gotta love the creativity that these bring out, definitely. That's one great thing about this line. Even if you're not really too into the designs, you, know, you have to love that uh, they definitely encourage a lot of creativity, which is really cool. So that's it my, for my take here on the Porta Nova Space Type. We'll be taking a look at some more 30 Minutes Mission stuff over the next short time in the near future. So 
Stick around if you want to see some more of that stuff. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you to USA Gundam Store for their support. Check out all the 30 Minutes Vision stuff we have on USA Gundam Store. The link is down below in the video description. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.